Welcome. This is Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It is the 8th of December, 2023. We've got topics for today, LTS coming up, Contributor Spotlight, Contributor Summit, GSOC preparation, and version documentation. Chris, any other topics you want to be sure we add? No. Okay. All right, so first topic, the changelog and upgrade guide for the next LTS has been merged. Chris, you're the release lead. Uh, anything else you need from documentation? Mm, don't think so. Okay, great. All right, contributor spotlight. Yes, congratulations. Contributors.jenkins.io is online. Chris, thanks for your amazing work on it with the first, the first contributor spotlight, Alexander Brandis. We've got the next one upcoming in the next few days, right? Within a, within a week, in less than a week, we'll have Alex Earl. And then I've seen a pull request, Chris, I think for you next. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Thanks very much for answering the survey and thanks for being a Jenkins contributor. Yep. Anything else on either of those? No. Nope. Okay, Contributor Summit at Fosdom. So from Hong Kong, I assume, Chris, you probably won't make that trip, but yeah. it's been announced and uh, agendas being gathered, participants, etc. Hello, Meg, welcome. So we've just been through our several topics. So Contributor Summit is coming in early February. And uh, see the notes there. Google Summer of Code preparation has started. So Chris, you want to give us a summary of what's happening there? Um, so we have compiled a list of um, all the potential project ideas, but we are still gathering more ideas like as they come. And... Um, we are going to have a meeting today to discuss like what what will be the next steps. Good. All right. So a coordinating meeting in about twelve hours, yep. in tw in twelve hours or less. Yeah. You say today, and I think tomorrow because it's getting late. But yes, exactly. Okay. Now I did see a question from from. Alexander Brandis that I was interested by. Uh, I was interested by it because repository permissions updater as code was an interesting idea for infrastructure. Yep. And I had had a back end extension indexer replacement. I don't remember though if that one got into the list or not, Chris. Do you remember? Um, no, sure. I don't. I don't think so because like it's a short project, but I can add it. Okay. It's well, enough. it's long enough to uh, to to be its own project. Yeah, and and I'm one of the things that Basil Crow suggests is, hey, for for really successful projects, we may want to prototype them, and I haven't done the prototyping on this one, but I think it's a doable thing. I think it's feasible. But I think he's right. It does need a, a prototype before we decide. And I would hope it's a short project. Now, yeah. they, offer, they offer short projects that are roughly half the duration. Is that right? Or half the, half the time investment? I think it's 10 weeks. The short ah, okay. And a long project is, or a, a regular project is... A regular should be, I'm not sure about this year because like, they changed the format. So it's like, we now have small, medium and large. Ah, okay. All right. So, so, well, so this one, this one needs more exploring then. I'm, I'm very much interested in it because this page is broken, right? So if we look at the extensions index, we get this very sad story that the Git plugin, for instance, which definitely has extensions, is not anywhere on this list. Okay. And it's not on the list because any plugin that enables incrementals disappears from the list. So any plugin that's modern disappears. And that's not a good thing. Yeah, I'll make a PR for it. 
Okay, great, thanks. And may maybe for the RPU project too, but not okay. sure. Great. I need more details. All right. So, and we need, we definitely need more details for the project ideas and we need more mentors for the uh, projects, right? The reality is we've got to have, have mentors in order to have workable projects. Yeah. All right. Anything else you'd like to highlight on Google Summer of Code 2024? Um, not really, except maybe like um, many people who have expressed interest as um, like contributing as a contributor in the future. But um, like I see some activities in uh, in the various GitHub repos for Jenkins, and uh, it's a good sign overall. Okay, so. So it continues to be a good way to invite first time contributors. Yep. Excellent, thank you. Next topic that I had was the version documentation site. And I think for me, this one is the big one for today's discussion. So you had asked a question in Gitter what what will it take to deploy it yep because like we are about ready to deploy the entire website so at least the version the documentation will be ready okay so ready to deploy to docs.jenkins.io yep. good now, would you be okay? I'm a little concerned that I don't want to lose functionality, but deploying to docs.jenkins.io does not lose any functionality, right? All it does is gives us a whole new site. Yep. Right? So new site, no risk to existing functionality at all. Yep, because the next step might be a bit risky. This step should be fine. This is a safe step. Good. Okay. Now, if would you be okay if we said if we put well, I guess let's let's see if we put that, if we were to deploy it to the new site, uh, that would let us test drive um, making changes to both sites, yep. right? That's to right. old and new. Yeah. And maybe maybe let me put a note here. So changes to old and new, comparing content between old and new. Comparing navigation between old and new. I, I'm not seeing many downsides to it. Just the idea being, hey, let's test drive, try it there and see what we get. Yep. Today, it's already available on the preview site. Yeah. And oh, oh, and this, it even has the, the current nav bar with contributor spotlight in it. Yep, that's correct, I guess. Nice, very, very nice. Is there any possibility that somebody who's brand new to Jenkins comes in and finds because of the URL docs.jenkins.io? and doesn't realize they're on a test site and doesn't matter if that happens? Well, a good question. I think I, at least I've got a proposal to offer as a, as an idea. I thought so, you might. <laughs> all right. So what if we created docs.jenkins.io, but did not include it into the navigation menu, but did not include it into the nav bar? I would, there's so many docs dot something or other. Oh, you think that's could, not enough hiding, huh? Maybe. Um, my suggestion was more banal, was just to throw a banner across the top. Hmm. So Chris, what do you think? Would it be possible to put some hint here that this is beta or this is next generation? Um, yeah, with a link to the current one. And as I say, I don't think it needs to be, I think it's, 
a small number of people who would get there. And I think it's a small price. I mean, most of the information is the same. They're probably going to be fine. Okay. We can, we can try to see. It's not like their, you know, oldest child is going to be removed from them permanently or something if they read the docs here instead of the old site. Okay. So open question. Can we, can we add some indicator to each page, to each page that it is not that it is an evaluation copy i think it's a valid a valid question now chris i see that we've only got 2.401.3 oh is, we're gonna have only one version because like we don't we we don't like uh we we have to um because it's kind of hard to like uh, keep track of which versions which before we start and Mm hmm right yeah. so oh, so then the initial would be i assume the initial would be 2.426.1 or are you thinking the initial will be something older than that something new possibly because okay. we're trying to update all the contents currently okay can we update the version to most recent release now, now, should we should we attempt to have an older version as a snapshot that people could use to navigate between versions, or is that that's is that way beyond where you're where you're ready to be, Chris? Right now, I, I see one version in the pick list. Um, it's it's going to be only one version when we start because okay. like it's hard to track. Like uh, we we um, it it would be too much work for that day. I think. Ah, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the, the navigation is different than I expected here. So hardware recommendations looks like I expected. Yeah, we have to work on those. Okay. It's like, so like, I don't think they are ready yet. I don't need to talk to him. Because like, you see it up top. It's like, if you go back to the, the other. Yeah, the this, other, this top, top. that hints that there's something amiss there. Because I think it's supposed to, uh, it's not supposed to show. Right, right, okay. And image, image, missing images, I assume, or something. Is, is that something that we could explore to see, hey, how does it look? Yeah. Okay. So, so Chris, would it be okay if we did some, given my initial, initial sort of smoke test here is finding several things. Are you okay if before we choose to deploy to docs.jenkins.io, we give a, have a, a, a test sweep through it to look at it, to see what. Okay. Yeah, sure. And best to report issues to the, to the, Vandi re repository there. Yeah. Probably. If, if I remember right, that was oh dear, I should know what the URL. Oh, I I can find the URL right here, can't I? Edit this page. Perfect. Okay, and it's got issues enabled. Good. Okay, so yeah. so we can log report issues there. Good. All right. And I assume you're okay with um, more, more reviewers of the current prototype would be good. Yeah. Cause like, but, but the thing is like some page is not ready yet. Cause um. I just got updated, so mm -hmm. might need to maybe a few more days at least. Well, and and fixes proposals for fixes are welcomed, right? Because because yep. the site's buildable by others. It's not Van Diet's the only one who can build it. So proposals for fixes yep. are welcomed for the existing content, and that's a good way for us to get for the for the new site. Uh, 
good way to test drive developing with the new site. Yep. Because if I can't figure out how to do how to do it, how to make a change, that'll be a problem. We've got to have other people be able to edit the, the site just as well as Vandit does. Yeah. So are you okay if I do an experiment right now, Chris, in front of, in front of everybody? Yeah. Mm. Okay, here's windows.adoc. Oh, that one. Okay, this is a redirect. All right. So this it one shouldn't be there. That mm -hmm. one's a surprise. So let's I want let's find the other one that had here we go. This one. Mon backing up dot adoc. This is one that I believe Meg originally wrote. So let's mm -hmm. grab it. Okay, here is layout section with this extra character. And I'm somehow suspecting that extra character is the problem. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, now I, I can't be sure of that, but if I open this page and look at the others, how about this one? It doesn't have that extra character. And diagnosing errors. It um, does. Okay. This one should be fixed too, I think. But um. Yeah, about... let's. We try another page that works. And okay, so was, and so now we need to go find a, a working page. So open this one. Okay, so here we are on. Uh, let's go back to system administration. Administering Jenkins on Kubernetes is a page that, or managing Jenkins. Let's see. Let's pick authenticating scripted clients. Okay, here's one. So yeah. when I attempt to edit this page. It does not have the. Oh, so you just remove the whole layout section. It's not. Oh, oh, so I don't need the layout section either. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so like that. Yep. Yep. Okay, so let's commit those changes. So remove section heading from backing up. Yeah. And I'm going to create a new branch so I can do a pull request. Fix page layout. Section heading. Now, will this generate a prototype site that I can I can evaluate on a on the pull request, or prototype sites not available here? Available here because we don't have the resources to do it. Got it. Okay, and and that's something that I know that Erve. I'm pretty sure Erve knows how to do it. He did it for the contributor site, didn't he? Yes, he did. Okay, good. So we we know how to do it on the on the on the final site. Okay, so there and and I could then even go in and add additional additional changes. Now this should also be a thing where I could. I could build the site myself locally, right? So I could do a, a clone of this and build it. Yep. Do you mind if I do that live? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I was working on another another problem. Let's uh, let's see what have we got here? Docs. Okay, git clone this. For, I forget how big the doc site is. There's a lot of data there. Um, okay. And then we think we have to, can you do a list? Sure. Is that what you were looking for? Uh, it should be in the dogs, so we should see the inner dogs. So, hang on. Oh, we should we have to go back. Sorry, my bad. Go back where? 
one level. Because like we have to go to where the playbook is. Where the playbook is. So is is the playbook? Oh, to the. Yeah. Yeah. So we go into like, playbook. Not go in, but it's like uh, we, we were good. Yeah, it's good too. When you see this, like you can, you can like there's some command you can you can use in readme.md. Yeah. So uh, what I need is this one, right? So I've got. I need to run. Run and so into Do you have it? I uh, don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, let's try it. Cool. Okay, so it's working. Yep. Should work. Okay, so I did, and if I just, just for my sake, I want to check here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm running node 14, node 14. Wow, that's ancient. That's NVM. Ancient. That's ancient. LT, NVM use minus minus LTS. Thank you very much. Now let's try it again. Nope. Still. Okay. Install it first, I think. Oh, am I, I didn't install. Oh, I, I didn't NVM install minus minus LTS. Yep. There we go. Yeah. And now if we say use node, okay, yeah. and we say NPM version, something much more modern. Okay, good. Fix my, and if I ask which node, it'll tell me it's somewhere in NVM. Okay, good. So now back to the README thing, it was, uh, do I, under... I need to reinstall Antora? No, just go running Antora. So like NPX, this is a command. Ah, okay. So oh, not that one. Uh, next one. Okay, which which you say? Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, hang on. It didn't. It didn't did it work at all? Because I, I didn't. Into a version, it didn't work. Uh, no, it didn't. But maybe it's not been installed yet. Oh, because like uh, yeah, it just did. So don't worry. Okay, so do I need to cd to the playbook directory in order to run it? I think it's um. No, we don't have to. Oh, maybe you do. Yeah, I think you do. Sorry. Cool. So it's it's but... cloning it's cloning the repository again. Yeah. Even though I'm inside the repository. That's a bit odd. I I need to check. Okay, and now it says open the file. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So I've got, there's at least, I've got at least a rudimentary setup where I can do, where the, the readme gives me local development. Now let's check out my, my change. And is there a way with with Gatsby to run a local HTTP server? Um, we're working on it, but it's not. I don't think that's a way to do so yet. Okay, so it's it's local file based for purely right now. Yeah, purely right now. Yeah. Good. All right. So, okay, there's my change. Interesting. How would I search for a literal squ closing square bracket? Ah, okay, that worked. Interesting. So the 
That was the only place in the source files. Oh no, I'm in the wrong directory. Got it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So here we've got several files that have layout. Yeah. yeah, which may hint that we don't want that. And it seems easy for me to test. Okay, this one. Doc title. Ah, right. Okay, this one is a full on a doc from from our from the site. I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm not sure what to do with that format. Yeah, it needs to be updated because like the tags are like um it it's not tags anymore. It's not title anymore. It's like I think it's like page dash ah. title page dash or something. Okay. Page. So here are my changes. Pushed. Oh, whoops, wait a sec. <laughs> That's a problem with branch. Which branch am I on? Okay. There it is, origin. Why does it not think that, oh. But of course, now I've, now I've got the problem that I didn't build that on my own fork because I had permission to do it on Von Dietz upstream. Shame on me for writing to upstream. No worries, we, we, we can do it that way too. Well, I'm, I'm just going to do a, I'm going to do a cheat if you're okay with it, Chris. Yep. What I'm going to cheat with is this temporarily. I won't do that in the future, but for right now, this way I can push the changes directly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell. Okay. Okay. Now back to the no push permission to upstream. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Well, Chris, thank you for, for the time with this. Thanks very much for your work with Vandit on it. And in terms of what I'll do then is view the site from, from its fi local files. That way I can do experimentation with it figure out what does it mean to add or delete things, etc. Okay. Great. And you're okay if others help with the review. So if I enlist help from Meg or help from Kevin Martins or others to, to do reviews of the site, you'll be okay with that. Yep. Sure. Great. Thank you. Anything else that you wanted to share on that topic? Hmm. I think it's like we we are uh, we I had a discussion like some some discussion we've been there before and we're trying to push for mid December is the, the like deadline for employer to be ready. Okay. I like that. So we that's roughly roughly one to two weeks from now, right? So uh, one week, yeah. Okay, one week from now. So so now is the time to do do checks. Now is the time to check the content. Yep. 
sure it is correct. Complete, etc. Great. All right. Anything else, Chris? Um, nope. Meg, anything else from you? We may have lost Meg for today. Okay. No, no, Meg was talking, but she was muted, so it was muted. Because right. okay. I was just pulling a cookie out of a very noisy container, so I muted myself. Understood. No, I think you guys are doing great work. I got nothing to add here. All right. Well, let's go ahead then. I apologize. I'm I'm sort of at the end of my stamina for a long working day. Chris, we'll talk in about, about 12 hours about Google Summer of Code. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Meg, for joining. Recording uh, will be thanks, available. Thanks, everybody. Have a uh, good week. Thank you. You too. Talk to you, you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.